Well, we got it. The CM Punk footage, courtesy of AEW, and the internet has had its reactions. And guys, um, Robin Lundberg, Gene Cherry, Dave Stepperson, I don't even have the energy to crush AEW over this. Like, I, I, I know I've done some stuff criticizing them and, and the like, but I, I'm not even trying to be critical. I almost feel bad. Like, I almost feel bad because this comes across so pathetic and lame. I, I have no idea what they thought they were gaining in this process. Like, they didn't make CM Punk look bad. In fact, they backed up exactly what he said on Ariel Hawani's show. The, the footage is almost note for note, beat for beat, what he said on that show. And it shows a WWE wrestler beating up one of your wrestlers, in a sense, putting him over. The, the crowd in the building was chanting CM Punk and saying CM Punk was right. So... I, I just, for the life of me, cannot understand why. Well, I'll, I'll just, I have the energy to crush AEW today. And I've tried giving the company the benefit of the doubt because, you know, it's competition is good for pro wrestling fans. You know, like you want to see another company do well. But this made absolutely no sense. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, maybe this footage will kind of help. Maybe it will make CM Punk look like he was lying and everything he was saying on Ariel's show wasn't true. But like you said, the man the man was telling the truth. He did choke the dude out, and he did have to get separated from Jungle Boy. Uh, it makes CM Punk look great. If, the, if their only point was to try to get a ratings bump, try to hit that 800,000 uh, viewpoint, uh, then I, they might have done it. But as far as long-term storytelling, this just made you guys look really, really bad. Uh, having CM Punk's name chant in that building is not a good look. CM Punk's not coming back. If you want to see CM Punk, you know exactly where to go. So <laughs> honestly, it makes if I'm CM Punk, I'm laughing my ass off right now because honestly, like he had to do no work. The man has <laughs> barely wrestled and he is getting the biggest push in pro wrestling right now. And uh, AEW, you missed the mark, Tony Khan. I had no idea how he thought this was going to play out. But I wasn't feeling it, man. And hopefully they could get by this. But it was an L. It was an L all around. I have been on record. I love AEW. I'm a fan of the promotion. I have given Tony Khan a ton of credit for what he's done for the industry. And I have wanted to go into this with, like, hope of, like, okay, they're going to use this to bring back Jack Perry and push him into this scapegoat thing. And, like, that'll be the... You know, the, the reason we got this, I mean, okay, I can understand it. I don't agree with it, but I can understand it. What they did was a letdown on so many levels. The tying it into the storyline with FTR was just an F. It just did not hit for me. And I can appreciate what they were trying to do, but it just it didn't hit. Showing the footage made nobody look good. In fact, it made Tony Khan look like an idiot. And I say that like sadly, because like I don't I like Tony Khan. I think he's not I do think he's a good guy who's done really good for wrestling, but like saying that you were scared for your life when CM Punk yelled at you across monitor, like, give me a break. You want to say it was a fireball offense? Fine. You're not supposed to put your hands on a coworker. I understand that. But to make it seem like this big thing, like I've seen, like when I worked at WWE, I saw people yell at each other like that plenty of times. Like it's not a big deal. People get fired up. They have their moments. And then you shake hands and you move on. And listen, what CM Punk and Jack Perry did, unprofessional, it shouldn't happen. But whatever it did, you can move on. And AEW should have moved on. And a lot of people there, I'm sure, have. And for them to just, even if it was to try and pop a rating, it just, it reeks of like late WCW. It was just so awful. It just, it was a stain on the company last night. And it made them look so bad. And it just, it hurts me because they have such talented wrestlers. And when they put their efforts into good stuff, like they do do good shows. And like, Last night's just oh, was not it, and it's just like it pains me because I know what AEW could be, and I see what they are. And if they just stopped worrying about WWE and focused on themselves and all the great things they have going on, they could be a very, very good wrestling company. And I still think they are. Like I don't want to lose that. Like I still am a fan of AEW. I'm still going to watch every week. But what they did last night was such a miss. Uh, it really, really was awful. It's why I didn't like the Edge promo because it showed the mentality. You know, it showed where their head was at about. Because it's, it'd be one thing if Punk had gone on Raw or SmackDown and crushed AEW. He has not mentioned AEW on WWE television once. He was on a podcast 
and asked a question. You know, there's a different forum. He was asked an interview question and he answered. That's a different thing. No, it is not. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it because is. It's a very wrestling, different... fan, wrestling fans are gonna. If CM Punk, it doesn't matter if he's on freaking Nickelodeon. People are gonna tune in on what he has to say. He's a talker. Anytime sure, he but talks, it does matter. Gonna, it, no, there it is a big matter. distinction. Anytime he opens his mouth, people are going to listen. It doesn't matter what platform you. I'm on. not saying they won't listen. But exactly. It's a different, so what do you mean? It's a different, it's a different platform. Different delivery on Raw, SmackDown. The man could have been anywhere. If he's gonna say anything about. AEW, he could have been on any platform. People were going to tune in. Well, like, I, I think I agree with Robin here, though. Speak. Yeah, Not I agree it. with Robin. Listen, there's a difference between doing something like storyline and like doing something on television versus like just being an interview on like the Ariel Hawaii show. You're talking about He's the guy who blurs the line between real life and pro wrestling. Like the sure, dude. But he was cool. asked a direct it's, question and he answered. Okay, it doesn't matter. He's, he's a talker. It's, he's a talker. It doesn't matter. He crushed the company. You don't think he knew he was going to get asked about AEW? You don't think he was prepared for that? Of course what he are you did. talking about? Like the man's not like this was everything anyone wanted to talk about. But here's the thing: if if Tony Khan had gone on a podcast, if he had gone on the Arrow Hawaiian show and said what CM Punk said is now what we believe, and he had showed the footage there, it would have felt different than doing it on the show. When you put it on AEW's Dynamite, oh no, I'm not. Oh no, we can all agree what he did last night was stupid. Super. I'm just saying, but that's the difference. It's not him yeah. telling his side of the story. It's them using CM Punk and WWE to drive their program. Like well, that's not what they could have done it better. They could have done it better. Showing that footage wasn't it. I have no problem with the Edge promo personally. I have no problem with that. The yeah. footage last night and how it was so, executed. But the before. Edge promo now in retrospect doesn't look silly. Like no, after they, absolutely not. It silly, looks wait, they, they have him go out and say all pro wrestling. Two different things. But, and then they do this. They didn't mention CM Punk in the Edge but pro it, wrestling. But it's the same. Thing. This was a direct. They shot. They took a direct shot at CM Punk after the Edge thing. That's what makes it whack. Is that they went? They doubled that's down what I mean. on it. No, doubling down is different than the initial response to what CM Punk said on Ariel's show. To me, I, I have no problem. Yeah, it's not It's not about, like, Edge coming out and defending the company and, like, putting it over and saying why he loves it. Like, that's different to me than, like, what they did last night. And I'm not yeah. equating those two things. I think last night was a specific, like, and you can say, like, the Edge thing was in response. That's fine. But last night was, like, specifically, like, we are going to try and discredit him and make him look bad. And all they did was make themselves look bad. Yeah, that was the last night. Was just don't match up, is what I'm saying. You, you you don't say the message that Edge said and then do this the next week. No, we all agreed. They doubled yeah. down, which is why it was so bad and it was poorly executed. They should have just left it after the Edge thing. Like, all right, cool, look, the show must go on. But the fact that they tried to make him look bad, I don't know what they tried doing. Uh, but it, it 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 did not it did not hit. Well, um. And we've seen these shots, man. Like, that wasn't the only shot AEW took at WWE last night. Uh, Will Ospreay took a shot at Triple H's comment about being a grinder, which also I thought missed the mark. I don't think he had to respond to that. But it almost feels like AEW is going to hang on to anything WWE says. If WWE is going to take a shot at AEW, whether it's on Ariel Show, whether it's on Pat McAfee or on Raw SmackDown, they're going to use that to try to get these rating bumps. And honestly, WWE, in my opinion, should just stop mentioning AEW. This is where it stops. Because AEW is not the one firing. They're responding directly to what WWE is doing right now. And I, until WWE stops, we're not going to get stuff like this. Like I, I didn't have as much of a problem with the Osprey thing um, just because – he at least looked like he got a shot from Triple H, so he was responding back. It, 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 maybe he didn't need to do it, but it's WWE not. Start, let's be real. WWE starting all this. They starting this. That's that's real. That's, I, I, don't, been, I, don't, sure. I don't think CM Punk did anything in, antagonistic. I really don't. Oh, you're wilding. He said no, they're that, not a real company. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, about? that's what he thinks. I mean, well, like, well, don't talk about it. Why are you talking about another company? Because he's on a podcast. That's what there, happens bro. when you're on a podcast. That's that's okay, what it is. Cool, but then you can't get mad when the company defends well, itself. You can't have regardless. Here's here's the issue. Uh, I, I I follow a lot of the pro wrestling media now, and the the most like ardent pro wrestling media people, the ones who are are live streaming after every show and do it, generally tend to be pretty big fans and supporters of AEW because obviously AEW has appealed to the hardcore. You know, I, I told the story at WrestleMania where I was sitting next to a couple. And the woman was cheering CM Punk loudly. And, and I was like, are you going to watch this footage? She had no awareness that he was in AEW or what happened in AEW. So there's a there's a difference between WWE fans and like pro wrestling fans, right? And, and AEW appealed to the pro wrestling fans. But some of those, or most of them, are crushing them for this decision. And I see a lot of comparisons to the finger poke of doom from WCW and all that. 
Like this is the kind of thing I'm not sure the company recovers from. They got money. I'm going to disagree with that. And they got money. Uh, here, here's my issue with this. Osprey reacting. Sometimes it's just, it, it makes you look better to be the bigger person and just say nothing, do nothing. Say you took your shot, whatever. I'm above that shit. I don't need to react to that. And Will Osprey would have been better off not saying anything. He has been on fire lately. Don't even give them the opportunity to make you come to their level. Just say, I'm focused on Brian Dennison. That's where my focus is on, only on this match. I'm going to show everyone why I'm the greatest wrestler in the world, and you should always be watching AEW and watching me. That's where his focus should be. And for AEW, like, listen, I think they'll be fine. I've said before, they have enough money they can keep running. It's not like, you know, people are going to – I don't think anyone's going to stop watching because of last night. I really don't. I think people are going to be like, that was a stupid decision. And they, and listen, if they don't recover and start – focusing on what they have to focus on, then yes, the company will be in a bad job because they have talent. They just need to worry about that. If they worry about the storylines, if they worry about putting on good matches and putting out good product, they're going to be fine. And they have all those. Uh, but they're not worried about that. But they should. Well, WWE keeps taking shots at them, Robin. What are you talking about? They, what do you mean? They, they, they can't they be the big. Where, where is the they energy? Mentioned, from- MJF mentioned WWE in every promo he ever did. Okay, that was years ago. Like what are you every, talking about? Every promo, he's the biggest hold on, star they've hold ever on. Created. Before this he did it in thing. every promo. Hold like, on. Before CM they're Punk. They're trying to use the heat from WWE. The heat the that WWE product. starts, bro. WWE You're WWE missing the point. WWE doesn't need to get heat on AEW. They're what are you talking about? WWE, WWE was taking down. shots at him, man. Okay, Why are you punching down? But that's not. It doesn't punch him down. Triple H said it on Pat McAfee's show WrestleMania weekend. What are you talking about? Look at Tony Schiavone's freaking face after they showed that footage. But hold it, oh, Clark. Look at, okay. Look at the, the, that's the man who broadcasts their show. Look at his face. What does that have to do with WWE show. punching at him, bro? What does that have to do with it? It's a little punch up. Who cares? You can't do, no, you can't do you that. Can you cannot go. do that. You cannot yes, you do can. that. Yes, you, you cannot, can. you cannot you give WWE go. a pass for taking shots at AW and then getting I mad at AW. What Pat McAfee did was corny. Okay. You didn't need to take that shot. You're acting like you cannot get mad at the response. But who cares? Who cares? They care. Who They're cares? getting beat down by the biggest juggernaut in freaking WWE. You're wrestling. getting attention. If anything, you should be celebrating that. Every time WWE mentions AEW, should be a celebration. And what are you mad AEW. about at AEW then? If they're responding to the energy WWE is giving them, then what's they're the whole about? Responding to that energy, yes, the energy are. Edge gave and the energy they put in the CM Punk promo are a complete opposite ends of the spectrum. I have okay. no idea how they think those two things work. In, in but you keep saying they need to just worry about them. Well, what about WWE needs to worry about WWE? Why are WWE, WWE taking shots at them? 1.2 billion people watch WrestleMania. Okay. And w- <laughs> and guess what? Triple H on that same weekend mentioned AEW wrestlers. He did not mention AEW wrestlers. He wrestled. He alluded, Mr. AEW wrestlers. What are you talking about? What do you think we were talking about last night? What do you think AEW was talking about last night? What are you talking about? Talk about, last night? What are you talking about? They mentioned him. He did not mention him. I'm he gonna, did. I'm gonna, he alluded, mention he AEW. alluded to them. He did not mention them. He did Let's, mention them, Robin. You're being okay. naive, bro. This, yeah, like, this is an on, argument man. about that. Not semantics. The truth yeah. is, I have no problem with AEW or WWE going after the other company a little bit. Because quite frankly, they did that during the Attitude Era. We got Triple H and DX and all those guys riding in on... Oh, AEW's here. No, they got WWE's It attention. was great. 100%. Stuff like that is funny and fun. But it's that's the goal. It has to be funny or fun or like entertaining what they did last night was not that and that's the problem if you're going to try and poke fun at the other company and this is why mjf is so good at it he uses it as a way to get himself over what they did last night didn't get themselves over it made them look bad that's the problem like there's a fine line between like taking a joke they would have been better off being honest saying they were going to air the footage and then doing a ridiculous skit that put the bucks over and made them look funny or like something like that for sure that would have been way better than what they did last night you want to like put your talent over by just trying to use it to pop a rating or like quote unquote build the storyline it was just a miss and this is the problem i have with aw is like ultimately like listen tony khan he's in charge he writes the storylines he makes the decisions he needs in my opinion he needs to start surrounding himself with more people to help with the creative side of things to give like new ideas because if you only have one person you that's kind of what happened with vince like triple h is in charge of creative, but I guarantee you, he listens to those writers. He listens to the producers in that room. He takes everybody's opinion into consideration before making a decision. Right now, it feels very much like Tony Khan's probably listening to like one or two guys, three guys, whatever the number is, and then ultimately making his own decision. But like, I think he just needs more creative people, and maybe not so many wrestlers, but people who are, you know, 
on the outside coming in who have written television, things like that, to try and draw up different storylines. Because, like, listen, having great matches is important, but you also need things for people to care about. And MJF, quite frankly to me, does that for himself. He writes up his own storylines and, like, his layouts lays out his own uh, promos, and that's why they're always so excellent. And there are some guys who are really great at that, and there are some guys and guys who aren't. So you need ha- to have people who can help talent push those things along. In my opinion, AEW doesn't have that right now, and that's kind of one of the things they're missing. You know, we know they brought in somebody from creative for who uh, was very close to Sasha Banks. That's great. One or two more of those. Start creating a team of people to help with this creative because they have the wrestlers to make a great show. That is obvious. But everything else around it right now is just kind of – not where it needs they to be. They have no focus. Not- they have no direction. They That's have no right. long-term storytelling, and they have no stars. I mean, like uh, they even- have stars. They have no, stars. They don't. They have stars. Yeah. I disagree. They have stars. Triple it H would no, not be. It's made it's no Robin, difference. Robin, if they did not have stars, Triple H would not be bitching on Pat McAfee show on why he didn't get them. So stop it. Triple H wishes he had Will Ospreay on his roster. Right I don't think now. so. And yes, he does. I, I, yes, he I, does. I honestly yes, think yes, I don't think yes, WWE yes, gives a flying whatever about you. Oh, if they didn't, they would. You know how I know you're lying because Triple H is mentioning them. They are on their radar, and you're lying. If they are on their radar. You get asked a question, you answer questions. Guess what? Why do you think he's getting asked that question? What are you talking about, Pat? You don't think he could have told Pat McAfee, don't ask me anything about AEW? Why would he tell him to not put stuff on the table? Oh, yeah, exactly. You tell, you're tell breaking. You're not making First any stuff. sense right now. Triple H is talking about Smasher another Banks, company. Samoa Joe, Swerve they Strickland. They have stars. They have stars across the That's board. They WWE bias. They have amazing I don't, I don't. They haven't That's seen. That's WWE they don't bias, have anybody, bro. They don't have anybody as of, other than MJF who has resonated in a sense where it's increasing their viewership Increasing their sales, increasing their merchandise sales, and just bringing. If you don't think MJF product. or Samoa Joe or I just said guys. MJF. Samoa Joe, I like Samoa Joe, but he's not that. All those guys can get packaged in the WWE platform and be major stars. You're wilding. Agreed. You are wilding. If you don't think Okada would have been a big talent. star, you're wilding. Yeah, it's not the talent. It's the way things have been positioned. Like here's a great example. This is one of the things that drove me absolutely insane. They had. Adam Cole and Roddy and all those guys in the MJF storyline. And then, like, it just kind of went to nothing. Like, this was this thing you were building for months. Like, who are these guys in the mask? What? And then, like, it just became so off the radar. Like, at least have these guys run roughshod over the company for a while and use them in a better, better position. Like, having – they're not even going after Samoa Joe, which is crazy. Like – it doesn't like, that's to me one of those things that just doesn't make sense. Like, yes, you want to cool it off a little bit and wait for MJF to come back. That's all well and good, but you have to have the thought process long before because you know MJF's on the shelf for six months, eight months, whatever it is. You have to know what you're gonna do with these guys for those eight months. Figure out a storyline that makes sense for them. This was your biggest thing, and now it's just it become nothing to me. It's like I understand you gave a few titles and stuff, but like that doesn't do it. You need to have a storyline for them. What are they trying to do? What's their their end goal? It wasn't just screwing over MJF, and now they're done, and it's just who cares about these guys? Like that is such a waste. And so yes, that and that's part like, of making stuff. Star- that's part. No one's saying the people that they have are talentless or aren't capable of doing anything. But being a star is part of the presentation. When you say, yeah, they'd be a star in WWE, that's because of the machine that is WWE. That's because of how WWE story tells. That's a lot of those things. I mean, Mercedes, her debut got a lot of hype. Since then, ha- what what has happened since then? I mean, that's a, that's a real thing. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm really not. But, here's, here's but to say like, she's not a star is I don't like false, the argument. Bro. Bro. To say she's they have like, no stars is false. Their biggest star. Cody Rose just made event at WrestleMania. He came from AEW. And then they, they, threw, didn't know what to do they, threw, they threw Dustin Rhodes into a main event out of nowhere on their show because Cody Rhodes was at WrestleMania. Okay, guess what? Cody Rose isn't Cody Rose without AEW. So Agreed. stop it. And I think so Cody Rhodes. They don't I have star part, Those guys. I think a AEW. big part of Cody Rhodes' popularity is honestly because of AEW and because everything because, about Cody Rhodes is, is about, no, is about no, no. AEW. Kids love AEW. Or kids love Cody Rhodes. They have no idea what AEW is. And stop. and there are just people. He's not this version. Again, the woman AEW. next to me at WrestleMania is cheering Cody Rhodes. She had no idea what AEW is. So. That they're, they're she doesn't not, get this version of Cody Rhodes without AEW. What are you talking? I agree. About? I'm agreeing with you. I, I think Cody. You're Rose, saying they have no stars, like they would not be stars in well, WWE. Cody Rhodes is not in AEW, and he okay, was. But Cody Rhodes isn't a main eventer without AEW. Agreed. You keep the, saying they don't have the stars. Internet, internet wrestling community. No, I'm talking about people. your. 
I'm talking about your comment that AEW doesn't have stars. They don't really have stars. Yes, they no. do have stars Who? because if they were in WWE, they would be stars. Okay, Okada, if they were in WWE, Okada. they'd be stars. Okada is the okay. biggest. Hang on, hang on. Okada was the biggest star in New Japan, and I don't care what you say about it being in there. Like in Japan, that is the number one wrestling promotion, and he was a a mega star there. So AEW got a coup when they got him, and he has been positioned that show very well, and he is in a incredible wrestler with a ton of talent. And if he was in WWE, I promise you he'd be positioned just as well. So I don't want to hear the don't have stars. That to me is a yeah, that's, that's, that's nonsense. They don't have stars. Come it, on, man. To me, it's not about the star. It's about building everything around them. And that's where I think the real issue is. We could all agree on that. They're not being used how they should be yeah. as far as storylines long-term. And that's why WWE succeeds. That's why WWE is the best right now. All right. So then this is my question. What can AEW do to turn this around? Tony, Con I think I think you hit the nail on the head. He needs more people around him. He needs creative at this point. Right now, you can't just be – what they did last night was just reactionary, and you can't be reactionary. you got to be able to invest. And it and that's why shit like last night falls flat because, like, oh, you're just doing this because of this. There's no real motive behind it. Like, until they get to that long-term storytelling and actually give people a reason to care about these storylines, they're going to fall flat. Um, but at the same time, I can't knock them because they're reacting to the biggest company taking shots at them. So it's like, I can't get mad at them for reacting to WWE. Right. They're the biggest global. They're, the react. biggest, no, they're reacting to them. I can't get mad at them for doing it. I see why they do it because if the big dog is going to keep talking about me, I'm going to say something, but that's what it is. Look, that's I, what it I, is. I, I've thought for the longest time, they need more storylines and investment in the matches because I, I felt like it's a, here's a match, here's a match, here's a match. And, and that would be. Uh, what would appeal to someone like me? I think the issue with something like this is it sticks. I mean, this is look, they're they're going around and they're copywriting claiming that video now uh, mm -hmm. online after they aired it on their television show because of the reaction that it got and how negative it, it has been. The, everyone, everyone is crushing them for it. The fans were chanting CM Punk. Like, this is not going to be easy to get over. Like, this is not a thing that's gone in a week. This I, is a thing. Wrestling, wrestling fans don't care. I, I disagree. I think this one, this one hurts. Care. This is when you now think of AEW. This is the first thing you think of. Yeah, till next week, so till they're till that's, Dynasty, that's and they put I'm on class. Because yeah. this, this is where I'm at, and I agree. For right now, this is the thing everyone's talking about. So you need to change the narrative. So for me, I think the first thing they need to do is I think they need to put the AEW World Championship on Swerve Strickland, and they need to build him up ASAP, and they need to utilize him, his talent, his storytelling. Like he has done a great job in all the things he's done. Even with now with Samoa Joe, they're doing like the two of them together are great. And Swerve can go a lot of ways. That is how to me you kind of change the narrative. New face of the company, and you start fresh. You say, okay, this is the Swerve Strickland era. What are we going to do differently? And then from there, you know, start planning around that. But like they need to start, they need to have a shift in that company. And it starts with to me, a new face. And that's not against Samoa Joe, who I think the world of, and I think he's an incredible. Uh, Joe's great. Joe's great, like, but I fun. think you need to do something and you need to have a storyline built in after Swerve that people are like, okay, I want to see that. Maybe it's the return of MJF if he's available. I don't know what his health is, but like that could be a thing where like we need to pivot and we need to get people reinvested. He is someone that can do that. So they need to figure out what that's going to be and they need to make that change soon. Yeah, no, wrestling fans are fickle, man. This is not going to stick. Nothing stick. Triple uh, H was in uh, on a casket doing stuff to yeah, it. It's a hit, like, but I'm, like I always say, nothing in wrestling is ever going to be like the death of a company. Exactly. Like, you know, like even the finger broken tomb. Like, yes, it was bad, and it was like, oh, well, wasn't started, that? Like, I mean, uh, WCW they were on the they were on the wrong. That did not kill the company. To be frank, WCW, hang out. on, but WCW died because Ted Wait. Turner and sales and stuff like that. The people behind the scenes didn't want to pay for it anymore. Well, That's the reason WCW. They need the media the rights deal. AEW needs the media. If they don't get the media rights deal, and and maybe they, I'm not saying they will or they won't, but yeah. if they don't renew their media rights deal, they're in big, big trouble. I agree. They need to have an influx in that sense. Tony Khan can obviously pay for this for as long as he wants. But like, yes, you do want to have. That's why you do stuff like money. you don't do stuff like last night unless you know. But what if it doesn't pop a number for them? Well, if it That's doesn't, the concerned. Well, who if knows? it doesn't pop a number, they're in real trouble because that's two shots of you made a mistake, in my opinion, and it didn't get well, you. Is the, are the numbers not out right now? Are no, the numbers not, not out. out. They won't be out till like four or five p.m. today yeah. uh, when we're taping them uh, uh, on this day that we're taping yet. But if they don't pop a number, that is, they're going to get clowned again for that. They've been getting clowned.
they've been getting clowned. Not like this. This is a different yeah, thing. Man. This was like bad. I said, I almost this feel bad. bad. I'm I, like, I'm, I'm really, I'm not trying to pile. I'm not like saying this with like, ha ha. Yeah. Or, I'm like, I love it, AEW. I'm hurt that this like went off so poorly. And this is my concern. When we oh, there was no the universe wrestling. where this was going to work. I, there was no shot. I don't think any of us thought I, this no, was going to work. I, out. I, I still said if they'd use that to bring out Jack Perry and have him like mega heel and be like, oh, this is bullshit. I wasn't, I was wrong. Like I'm the one, you know, like, if he, that's the only way to me. You could have turned this into a storyline thing. And I would have been like, all right, I, I don't like it, but I get it. Trying to like, Makes CM Punk look bad. It's so stupid and so like small minded. 